a long love affair. We, we used to meet nightly and discuss films in the cold outside of Starbucks, having been there for the last call. And uh, we talked film for what seems now like years. And he showed me a script that he had written that was what I call a slasher film, but it was much more psychological than that. Given the monologues in this, I believe you. And, uh, you and I, he, he had a, a, an old guy at the, towards the end of it that talked forever. And, uh, <laughs> and he asked me if I'd be interested in doing it. And I said, if you can get it produced, of course I'll do it. Uh, uh, not my kind of film, but I think you've hit all the right notes for this kind of film. And then evidently he scrapped that, or changed his mind. And uh, it just couldn't raise the money. And then he came up to me one day and said, I've written the script for you. Now, he tells me about the conversation. He tells me about the conversation about my interest in what I'd like to do. I don't actually recall that part. I think of it as having been sprung on me. And it was like being the, the world's greatest birthday present. I mean, nobody, nobody lets It just doesn't happen. It certainly doesn't happen in American films, and it doesn't happen for uh, a male. Uh, every now and then, they'll let uh, Jessica Candy or something do it. Uh, maybe now, uh, who is it that always plays God? Morgan. <laughs> but uh, but at any rate, it was uh, it grew out of a mutual love of uh, of just film in general. And uh, his memory of bits and pieces that he's seen me do over the years, and my confidence in having the first script that uh, that he could do what he, what he did.